Hi everyone, Juliana Pilata here from CBRC. Welcome back to our monthly newsletter. In this month's quick tip video, I will be explaining the difference between gross leases and net leases in commercial real estate. So to start off, a gross lease is a legally binding contract in which a landlord receives a stipulated amount of rent from a tenant and is obligated to pay all or most of the property's operating expenses and real estate taxes. This amount is fixed for the year or throughout the term of the lease. I would say that gross leases are the most tenant friendly lease and that's because the rent is all inclusive. Most if not all of the operating expenses um, associated with occupying the property are covered such as utilities and janitorial services. These leases may also include property insurance and real estate taxes but that has to be carefully negotiated. This can benefit the tenant uh, before as mentioned and that's because the rent is fixed throughout the term of the lease. So if expenses increase year over year, the landlord can't just increase the rent unless it's stipulated in the standard lease. And on the other hand, the landlord could also benefit and that's because if the gross amount of rent they're receiving exceeds the expenses on the property, then they would get, be getting a profit. Now in a net lease, the landlord charges a base rent for their commercial space, plus some or all of the usual costs, which are, ex um, which are expenses associated with the operations, maintenance and use that the landlord pays. These can include real estate taxes, property insurance, and common area maintenance items, which might include janitorial services, property management fees, sewers, water, um, that kind of stuff. Something to note, there are th a few different types of net leases. So the first one is a single net lease where the tenant pays their base rent plus their proportionate share um, of taxes. Otherwise, the landlord covers all the other building expenses. The second is a double net lease where the tenant pays the base rent plus their prorated share of taxes and insurance, and the landlord covers expenses for structural repairs and common maintenance. And the third is a triple net lease, which is most favored by landlords, where the tenant pays base rent, plus all other additional operating expenses for the building. And in these leases, landlords often estimate the expenses based on their proportionate share. So for example, if a tenant occupies a thousand square feet of a 10,000 square foot building, their proportionate share for operating expenses would be 10%. Tenants don't usually advantage from triple net leases as the expenses can fluctuate year to year during the term of the lease. And unless stipulated in the standard lease that the expenses are capped, this can be kind of volatile for tenants. If you guys would like to learn more about commercial leases, please feel free to reach out to Mark and I with any questions you might have. You can also refer to this month's uh, newsletter or for other references uh, to refer to. Otherwise, thanks again for watching and uh, we'll see you all next month. Take care.